Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Miro. I've been using Miro for a while right now and I think it's a perfect application and I believe after watching this video you will know exactly how to use it. So the first thing we are going to do, I will click here a new board. Create a shared board and what you can do is to choose a template. I'm going to close this only because you will see and you will be able to find templates right here under your select. So click templates and now you have option to choose between templates or you can build everything by yourself. You can go to the popular <clears throat> or Mirrorverse. Mirrorverse is a, our templates uh, made by the community that you can use. And this is a really good thing uh, if you want to have something more complex or you can have like building blocks here, a mind map, meeting workshops, brainstorming or ideation agile workflows plenty of ideas what you can actually build right research and design mapping and diagramming or you can search template on the top i'll just click here on the mind map use template and voila here we have it of course i'm going to show you how you can literally build everything but now before we also start what you can do is go to the top right and you're gonna see show collaborators cursors or hide them then you can have like reactions you can raise hand if you're working with other people or show reactions that you love it or that's on fire or you can wave or like wow so you can also like raise hand so if you want to contribute with something then you can have like share give your board a title then uh, you can also share it with others and you can simply invite by Gmail or you can invite them by the link and you can choose an option if you want them to view, comment, edit or there's going to be no access at all and then team access to board what they can do if you're in a team they can view, comment or edit. Now so this is something you can actually do and how you can invite others to Miro app. When we go further you can have settings here. In the settings, you can choose uh, what you want to disable or enable. Like I can disable show grid here. I want to have grid, so I will have it enabled. Then you can have like shortcuts here that you can find and learn. Then you can have like navigation mode. Navigation mode, you can choose between uh, board navigation by trackpad or mouse. I'm going to have a mouse because I use mouse. And then you have like other things here, like apps and integrations, account settings, etc. Now, when we have all this on the left side, you can export this board. We will get to it or you can simply go back and further. Like understandable, right? Now, what you can do and how it works. So as I mentioned, the first thing that you're going to have are templates. Then you're going to have a text that you can simply add to your mirror and I can write here this is a tutorial what I can do is to simply increase the font size I can switch the type if it's going to be a sticker or if it's going to be text if it's going to be like this you can really choose what kind of thing is going to be I will add a text here. This is a tutorial. You can also change uh, the font, not only the font size, but also a font. Then what you can do, you can uh, have a font style. And then you can center it to the middle. And now I will just move it. So that's something you can do. You can change the text color. And uh, you can also change like plenty of things here. And now I can like move it somewhere and track the object if I want to. So you can move it like this. So this is the tutorial. And now what you can do with the mouse wheel, with the zooming and zooming out, zoom in and zoom out to your, like this is a tutorial. Uh, then you can also highlight the text if you want. 
that's something you can you can do too and i can have like i would like this it's pretty good right and you can also lock it or you can copy link allocate duplicate delete it save as a template many things here when i'm going to lock it i won't be able to do anything with it to unlock it i need to actually long press to unlock and then i can edit it again so this is how it works and this is how the text works then we're gonna have like sticky notes here what you can actually do is to click sticky note and you have option to simply create a sticky note like this and then when i would double click next to it i would create next sticky note and next sticky note uh, what you can do another thing how we can actually uh, create sticky notes is that if you would click on a sticky note and you will click here bulk mode bulk mode now like first enter second third fourth five what's going to happen that you're going to create bulk notes sticky notes and voila here we have it now what i can do is to simply move it i can take the fifth one and put it here and like here and you can create plenty of sticky notes if you want to now uh, what you can actually do is to when you're going to click on it you can change the colors of sticky notes you can change again the text the switch type of if you if you want it to have as a shape not as a sticky note so that's something you can do and another thing what i want to teach you is what you can actually do is to choose multiple things here you have an option to simply hold shift and just use mouse i'm holding shift and then i'm just pressing mouse one and i'm going to zoom i'm going to multiple select everything so that's something you can definitely do now to go further you can have like shapes here and then shapes here you can create like plenty of shapes like this one here this is a tutorial i'm going to change a font size here like this and i got to see plenty of shapes that i can use in my mural dashboard like a star here So plenty of things now to go further you're gonna see like arrows here and arrows are like for the connecting the same as it's and it's, as it's connected this one i can connect it between like this i can simply click on it i can change the type then i can change the colors And then I can add a text to it and I can increase the size of my line. So that's something you can definitely do. And that's something that I like. And I can add a text on the line. So this is how the lines work and how we can work with the lines in Miro. Next thing, what I'm going to show you is how we can like have a pen here. Then we're going to have like highlighter again same thing then we have a small drawing create shapes and connectors with the simple gestures so let me show you okay that, that wasn't uh, as i want it to be Yeah, I'm going to refresh the website here. Nope. Like this. Oh, look at this. So this is something you can definitely do. And let's create. I, I'm afraid that I won't be able to do the arrow. I can create a rectangle for you. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. I mean, it should have changed, but it didn't. Oh, because I didn't have, like, chosen. So this is something that you can do, too. I don't know. Sometimes it works. I'm just bad with it. So I'm sorry. 
Oh, and here it is. So this is how we can do this more drawing. Then we go like eraser here. Then I can erase things. And that's something you can do. And then you're gonna have like lasso. That you can choose things, right? And you can choose like multiple objects here, like look. See? So that's something you can do. Now, the next thing I want to show you is you can simply add a comment. This is a sticker. That's something you can actually do. That's pretty cool. Then you have frames here. Frames are really important when you want to use Mural and how the frames work. So what you can do is you simply um, like when you want to export to the PDF, the most important thing is that every frame is going to be one page. So let me show you. Let's say that you can have like A4 frame. No, I'm going to move it like this and I don't want to have. So I'm going to go back. Wait. Okay, I have a frame here. I'm going to add this thing here, this thing here, this thing here. Frame is going to create like a page for you, something that you can create in. Let's say that you would have, uh, these are the pages that you would present for someone, right? So let's say this is a frame one, then I'm going to have a frame two. And in that, I'm going to have a text. And to check it out, if it's actually in frame, all you have to do is just move a frame. And then I'm going to like this one thing, this thing, and this thing. Now, when I would go to the left top to the export, and I have it as a save as PDF, and click on the save as PDF, then I would open it, and as you can see, this is my first, and this is my second frame that I could present to people. So this is how the mirror works, and it's like pretty effective and pretty good, I think. So that's something you can definitely do, and that's something I recommend for you to do if you want to work with frames. But of course, you can also create it for tablet, browser, one-on-one, -on -one, A4 letter. Then you can upload your own files, and what you can do is to upload uh, images, etc. So let me show you. I got like this image here from a StarCraft game. I love the game. So and I can zoom in, make it smaller. So that's something I can definitely do too. And then when you're going to click on the three dots here, you're going to have like more apps, you're going to find more applications. So you would find like Kanban tables that you can insert and you can also insert what kind of tables you want. And voila, here we got a new table. I need to make it and then uh, you can play around it and so this is something what you can do you can make it smaller then I would just write here something I would make it bigger right yes sir no sir I would make it bigger So that's something you can definitely do and you can add multiple columns here and rows. So this is how the table works. Then you're going to have like charts. Again, you can simply add the charts. And you can add uh, into the chart some data. And then you're going to have like mind map here and sticky capture, Kanban even. So I have a Kanban here. That's something what I can do too. And I can have like to-do list here, like what I want to actually create. So I want to do this thing. And then I would just simply move it to in progress or done. So that's something you can do. What I can do is to add multiple things. So that's pretty good. And then you're going to see like more applications that you can use with Miro. It's pretty straightforward and pretty easy. You can, of course, add also iframe code if you want to. So there are multiple things how we can actually use Miro. When we go further on the left bottom, you're going to see frames here. And these are the frames that I created. You can add more frames here. 
is like another frame and you would see always like put this in the frame so that's something you can do then we have presentation mode and presentation mode is directly going to be on a frames that i have but of course i can simply move the presentation mode or something else then we're going to see comments uh, with the comments you would see all the comments from people who are on your dashboard i can chat with people that's the next thing then we're gonna see cards that we have you can have like screen sharing if you want to voting video chat timer and activity what was actually happening on your dashboard so this is pretty much it how it works and how we can use and thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye see ya